Hello once again, beautiful people. My name is Maniac, the kind of guy that'll always go out of his way to revive you. And today we're going to be looking at Bank Job, so let's get started. Like with all my videos, we'll start off in the inventory, so I can show you exactly what you need to make this mission a lot easier. So let's go into skills, and we'll start fresh. 15, why not? As you can see, clean slate. So, for this mission, we're going to need ECM specialist, just in case something goes wrong. So we'll go, let's see. You may want to ace Chameleon, as uh, you can pick up items while in casing mode. And this will help you, uh, because you'll need to pick up a keycard partway through at the beginning. Uh, also ace Sixth Sense, as it lets you have insider access assets, excuse me, which allows you to place that keycard. So you'll need six cents to place the keycard, you'll need Chameleon to pick up the keycard without putting on a mask. It'll make things a lot easier, that way you can just get to the security room and you won't have to waste an ECM on it, but we'll get to that part later. If you don't want to do this, you can also just ace ECM Overdrive, which will allow you to open the security room door anyway. But I'm going to recommend ECM Specialist Especially aced, as that helps significantly. Um, you really don't need anything else. If you want, you can have a point on cleaner. Um, it's not really necessary. Let's see. Now, there is a drill on this map, and it will take for goddamn ever. So please, ace your drill skills. You'll save a lot of time. A lot of time. Okay, next is... The bank jobs have um, deposit boxes once you get inside the vault, which can have a lot of uh, decent loot in them, usually. So what I recommend doing is putting a point here on scavenger and then acing your portable saw, which will make things a lot easier. You don't need to ace saw massacre as it's really just meant for uh, damaging you know, enemies, not really for opening up deposit boxes. This will help more with deposit boxes, the acing, acing portable saw. Now, that's basically the basics of what you'll need, ECM specialist, drill skills, and a saw. That's more than, you know, that's basically it. It's all you'll need. So at this point, 61 points is pretty much what you need. Now, I mean, 61 points is what I have left after spending all of my points. Now, we'll go into concealment, so we'll put a point on second win, and then we'll ace optical illusions because, as you as you can see, you gain one yeah you gain one concealment for each silent weapon you equip. That is pretty goddamn important, as it'll get you that uh you know squeezing every little bit out of concealment as you possibly can. Next, we'll go here. We'll put a point on duck and cover, and then you can basic inner pockets because it'll lower, or I guess raise or lower the concealment of your melee weapons, whatever you want to call it. Basically, it's helping you. Now, you don't need to ace it. I ace it because I use a ballistic vest, because I like how the ballistic vest looks on me in this game. You don't need to ace center pockets. It's not really a big deal. Uh, let's see. Now, to squeeze every little bit of your drill, like you can, out of your drill to make it go as smoothly as possible, I'm going to recommend going into the brawler skill tree. And pretty much acing, or you can just basic Berserker, it's not, you know, doesn't really make a difference. Just as long as you get up the skill tree, and you're able to put one, you know, point on Frenzy. As long as it's basic. So as long as you have Berserker aced, or basic, and Frenzy basic. So as long as you move up the skill tree, it's all that matters. These, you know, the rest of this stuff doesn't really matter other than Berserker and Frenzy, to be honest with you. This will help you, because as you can see, the lower your health, the more damage you do with your saw. The saw, combined with portable saw, ace, and berserker, will help you open up the deposit boxes extremely fast, and you don't have to worry about ammo as much. That way you don't have to bring it yourself and use, uh, where is it, jack-of-all-trades, as saws go through a lot of ammo. Uh, let's see. Anything else I'm forgetting? I guess I can put a point on movement speed. And I believe that's it. We're good to go. So I have 25 leftover points. Like I said, you don't have to do all this. 
it'll just make sawing easier once you get into the vault. So, now that the skills are set, we'll look at perk decks. Now, if you don't have any of the DLC, I recommend using Crew Chief, because, it, I mean, nothing else really makes a difference, so, Crew Chief, you know, more health. Woo. Um, Gambler is not a silent perk deck, so I don't know why it's aced, or equipped at the moment. Derp. So let's see. Your choices are basically Yakuza, which will give you 20% movement speed. I'm going to be using this as it. I'm going to be moving a lot of bags by myself, so all the movement speed will help speed it up quite a bit. Uh, there's also Burglar, which will make answering pagers and lockpicking much faster, but you won't really be doing a whole lot of lockpicking. Answering pagers might come in handy, but it's only 10% faster, and it's not really a big deal. So, like I said, if you don't have the DLC, just use Crew Chief. If you do have the DLC, you can either choose between Burglar or Yakuza. Typically, I go with Yakuza for most of my missions, as I run Berserker in almost all of my builds. Uh, the one downside, though, before we get started, is that you will have significantly less health when you start the mission, and you'll basically be uh, tissue paper. So if, you know, one cop shoots you a couple of times, you're going down. Um, I'll be using the lightweight ballistic vest because, you know, I like the skull, and I'm a fan of the Punisher. Our equipment, obviously, ECM Jammer. We're not going to be needing anything else. For weapons, I'll be using the Akimbo Interceptors with a silencer, because you need a silencer when you're stealthing. Uh, make sure that when you select a saw... Wow, that looks like crap. Anyway, when you select a saw to use, make sure that you have a silent motor on it, or else you're going to be alerting everybody on the map, even civilians you cannot get to. I also have a durable blade, which increases the magazine and total ammo, so it'll help if you have these, uh, you know, in stock. Next, uh, melee weapon doesn't really matter, as long as the concealment is low, I'll be using a pencil. Good stuff. Dynamite. Now, I bring dynamite for this mission, mainly because sometimes civvies get alerted, and they get stuck outside of the map. So throwing dynamite at them is a great way to handle that, if the dynamite can reach them. Uh, let's see, Yakuza. I believe everything in here is a-okay. -okay. For a mask, doesn't really make a difference what you bring. So... Now, for the heists themselves, we have bank heist cash, deposit, gold, and random. Cash, when you get into the vault, there will be cash on the table and around the surrounding area of the vault. With gold, it will be the same thing. There will be gold inside the little vault area. Random, it varies from gold to cash. And deposit, there won't be anything inside the vault on the tables, but there will be uh, a lot of loot in the deposit boxes. Now, that's not to say that there won't already be loot in the deposit boxes for the other missions. I'm guessing, and I don't really know, but I'm guessing that the loot inside the deposit boxes will be slightly better, as when I've run this mission with, you know, deposit, I've seen more gold and other, uh, like, loot items like that in deposit, and not really as much as in the other ones. So, also, one notable thing is that... As you can see, the jump payout is 71,000 plus 650,000 for cash. Now we'll go to gold, 1.6 million, 180,000. For random, 1.6 million, 184,000. Deposit, 1.9 million, 213,000. So, deposit pays the most, I believe, out of all of them. So, today we're going to be doing cash, as most of these missions are exactly the same, just with different loot inside. Um, there are a few notice, like, there are very slight variations, but I'll more or less go over all of them. It's more or less having to do with the guard, spawn, and pathing. Now, this mission's one of the first, uh, 
stealth missions I think I ever did in the game, and it did not go smooth. Just because this is a bank job for cash doesn't mean it's gonna be easy. You need to get into the bank vault. Try to control the civilians and tellers so they don't hit the alarm. The manager might have a key too. I'd wish you luck, but you don't need it, right? So, we're going to go into pre-planning, and we're going to use the insider help, which is why we have that skill. You can place the key card either in the bank teller area or the office area. The office area usually has a bit more guards around it, but it's more open, I guess. Um, as you can see, the security room can either be in one of two places, right by the teller area, or in the bank by the roof access. I don't know why there's question marks next to them, because the bank, or the bank never changes layout, they will always be there. The only thing that's, you know, changes is the vault access. They can either be here or there, but I'll go over that once we get inside. Okay. I'll just place it in the office area just for the hell of it. Next, we'll go to dead drop. You're going to need an ammo bag for the saw. You can place it near the roof, behind the roof, or beneath the roof, or the office photocopier because, you know, that's not, you know, that's stealth. We're going to go with the photocopier, mainly because it's the closest one to either of the vaults, making it significantly easier. You don't really need anything else, you don't need the vantage point, you don't really need the vault key as you're bringing a saw, expert drivers for loud, you don't need the silent alarm, I mean, Depend on it being here you go, bring, bring some nades, now, you, you, nades are very important when you stealth. Okay, the thermal drill you need for the vault is somewhere in the parking lot, get it before you do your takedown, then you can go hit that vault, watch for cameras and bank employees, do your homework before you go in, and remember, Cash is king. Okay. It's a straight cash in. You know how it goes. Now, you'll sometimes spawn in different spots around the map. Um, I've spawned just outside to the left. Now, the escape will be in different locations. This one is the goddamn worst because, I mean, look how far it is. This is like the farthest escape van. Over here, off to the side... I mean, when I played, I play with newer players, they have no idea where the van is here, and they just run around the map, totally confused. There will be random civvies walking up and down the street. That's some good pathing right there. Uh, let's see. Another escape can be, and I, my favorite one, is literally right across the street from the front door, right here. I'll see you later. But it'll be right here. The third and final escape will be across the street, uh, from the back door, right here in this alleyway. So the, the van could be in one of three places. Of course, with my luck, I get the worst one. All right. So the cameras on the outside will, will more or less be uh, rather easy to deal with. There are three entrances. There's one here in the back. This will work our way around the back. There'll be a door here. There's the main entrance, and if you go up the stairs off to the side, there's a fourth door on the roof, which will always be open. So, I lied. There's four ways into the bank. There's three sneaky ways, and then there's the main entrance. Uh, you can shoot open this gate, lockpick it, saw it, I don't know why you would, or you can just clip here, or you can just walk around the side, you know. You don't want to mask up immediately. Avoid the camera. There's always, usually, there's always a camera right here by this back door. So if you're going to lock, lock pick the door, you might want to uh, either have a uh, cam loop or to take out the cam guard, which we will do Security cam over there. momentarily. Stay back. Look who Go came on. to visit. Where are you going? So before I take care of him... Let's go inside and uh, point out some things. Watch out. Cams are, are, you know, most of the time in some really bad places. Hey. Guard. There's not many on this map, but Look there are uh, quite a few that if you're not careful, they'll ruin the entire mission. So, there's always four guards on this map. Never more, 
Nevertheless, there will always be four guards. There's lots of civvies, but only four guards. Now, if you're going to rush this, please shoot these two civvies first. They will ruin the whole mission. As you can see, the big red buttons underneath the uh, desk, it will alert the entire map and the police will just come immediately. Just immediately. There's nothing you can do. Even if you kill everybody, the police will be here. So let's work our way into the back area. Guard on patrol. This is where I find that guards like to hang out the most in this back area. Hey. They'll stand in that corner, this corner, over here. They just love this back area. And it's a pain because of the cameras Camera. and the civvies that are all sitting around. Uh, let's see. There's the manager's office back there. There's a security room here. And I'll show you where the other one is really fast. So there's one here. And then we will run through here. Check our corners. And the security room can also be here, which is a huge pain because security cam over usually there. that cam is looking down the hallway, making it significantly harder to get to with that security office. Since this is the photocopier, as you can see, our ammo will be here. We'll grab that a bit later. Guard. All right. Stay back. Guard. So, and that leads to the roof, obviously, upstairs. So, now that we have this taken care of and the layout, let's get started. Now, you don't really have to bag them. I do for the heck of it. Who cares? Whatever. Let's get them out of the way. So, as you can see, one of those guys was the manager standing right here. He'll also wander around the bank. Same with the guards. So, if you find him, you can either t zip tie him up or shoot him in the face. Camera. I shot him in the face, obviously, but you can do whatever you want with the guy. Just as long as you, he doesn't get alerted. Sometimes... Thank you, Bane. Sometimes he'll also carry a keycard on him. Which kind of defeats the purpose of buying one, but as you can see, he did not have one, making it so that I have to get into this room. Now, you can always place your ECM jammer on it if you have the security, uh, you know, opening doors with your ECM jammer, basically, skill. Uh, hmm. Well, the keycard I was supposed to grab is over there. You place it in here and it opens up. I didn't grab it. Um mainly because it's just an option for you to do. I mean, it doesn't really matter. So, we'll shoot him. And now the security cams in the entire place are down. Does anything exciting ever happen here? This shit's boring. Yeah, yeah, that, that's great. Uh, just send me a plane. Now, once you get in here, you can view the cameras, spot guards. As you can see, like I said, there's one there. I'm sure the other one's, like, right here. Yep. Like I said, they absolutely love this back area. Alright, now... Another thing, though. Let's see if I can spot it on cam. So this is where I am, in the back there, through that door. As you can see. You also see that big red button next to the door. Well, if a civvy, just like in the teller area, if a civvy runs up and pushes that button, the police will also get alerted. Making the mission significantly boned. So, what are we going to do? Well, I guess at this point we play the waiting game and wait for the guards to uh, not be there. Because that is like the worst. Looks like he's going out front. And where's the other guard at? Is he in the corner? He is in the corner. Alright. So how do you spot the guard if you're not on the cam? Just jump, Guard. and point. You sort of clip through the door there and Guard. point at him through the thing. Just be careful not to get spotted by the civilians. Who will sometimes be sitting here, sometimes not. If they're not there, obviously it makes it easier because you can just shoot a guard if he's standing here. And nobody will notice. But, let's run around the side and see if we can't get to that other guard. Also, these two guys right here will always be here. They were added as part of an update for John Wick, I believe. Jesus Christ. What is that? On the smoking ground. Get them on the ground. Just seeing them makes my blood boil. Tie them up and leave them by the van. They're coming with us when we leave. Wick was very specific about this. 
you don't really get anything significant for tying them up and taking them other than an achievement. I've already earned the achievement, so here's a bit of dialogue for you if you kill them. So there you go. You get scolded by Bane, and John Wick will probably kill you now. The thermal drill will usually be in the back here on this truck, or around the surrounding area back here. Pick it up. Do whatever you want with it. Eventually it will have to go onto the safe to drill it open. So let's put it somewhere safe. No pun intended. And let's see if we can't spot the rest of the other two guards. I'm sure they're in really bad spots. There's one. There's the other. Beautiful. Now hopefully that guard here walks into this room here. Nope. In fact, I'm not really sure where he's going. Ah, there we go. Guard There's the other guard. Hopefully he walks back here. And of course he stops. Guard. Now, if you can manage to get down to one guard, it'll make this really easy, as you can just kind of go through and murder all the civilians when you place it on your ECM jammer, and then take out, or excuse me, and then answer the last pager. Stay fucking quiet. Guard. You just yeah. have to be careful not to let any civilians push any of the buttons. And like I said, there's two. In the teller area, and this area back here. To get those hands on those buttons, this mission's basically out of stealth, and, you know ruined so I'm not entirely sure what they're doing is he out front he sure is okay well let's see if I can work with that careful guard hmm I'm not sure if I'll be able to take him out without anybody seeing but I can try all good over here how's it looking for you guys Alright, so we're down to our last guard here. Well, oh, buddy, I don't know how you wouldn't notice that. Sure. Now we're going to do my favorite method. And that is... Going to rush in. Take out everybody. got the rest of the civilians. The guard will probably be... Well, I don't know where he is. Did I already kill him? Or is he... Hiding? Wow. Hey. Oh, there he is. He's on the roof. Okay, so yeah, guards can also go on the roof. It's very rare for that to happen, but... Hey, it happened. Which, luckily for me, I guess I didn't even really need to use him. So that went rather smooth. Boop. Now, if you're going to do the method I just did, always, always start with the tellers. They're the first people you want to kill in this instance, and then sort of work your way around the room. Try not to alert the people back here. If you do, then after you get done the tellers, run back here and shoot these guys. Because they will scramble for that button. So let's get the drill going, because this is going to take a little bit. And we'll collect other things in the meantime. Here we go. We should be through in a couple of minutes. So 250 seconds, so let's go pick up some loose change. In the teller area, there will be money bundles on the, uh, you know, surrounding area. And this thing. And don't worry, you can't push the button at all. So don't worry about accidentally pushing it. Uh, let's see. We'll run into the manager's office here. Sometimes there'll be a safe here. Sometimes there won't be. There isn't. Uh, now, if the manager doesn't have the key card on him when you kill him, that means the key card will more than likely be on his desk. And usually there's also a money bundle on his desk. Now, for the last of the loose change, there will always be only two ATMs on, the ATMs on this map. And you can either ECM them or saw them open. I'm going to saw them open. 
And if you have the right skill where you you have a loose change that is worth more, 390,000 for each, that's not bad. I'm just going to waste the rest of my soul ammo here and just take it from the bag. Thanks, photocopier. I wonder how long that was sitting there for. Alright, so we got about a minute and seven, or excuse me, 170 left. So, let's get started on the packages before it inevitably breaks down and ruins my day. So, there'll sometimes be a package here, behind the teller office, under the chair. It has begun. Oh, thank God. Okay. Next, we're going to do the uh, credit area. Check the chairs and under the table here. Sometimes there'll be a few. Hey. Let's see. One here, as well as one behind this glass. Got it. Not doing so bad, or too bad so far. Okay, so now we'll go up to the roof. Check underneath this pipe right here. Nothing. Near this vent here. There. Behind this. Fuck yeah. And then we'll check. Forgot that guy was there. By this pipe. By the back stairs. Got it. Now we'll drop down from the back stairs. Checking between the dumpster and the fence. Fuck and just to show you, you can clip this one. This one. And you can either lock pick or just shoot the lock. Easy. Uh, let's see, by the dumpster, by this orange cone, nope. So we'll keep going. Sometimes by this back dumpster area, nope. So we're going to run around and check where I killed those two guys. Nope. Alright. Next, we'll check the alleyways. Usually there's a good bit of them hiding there. Between these two dumpsters. The next alleyway next to that one. Behind this fence, usually this is the worst one to get, as nobody ever finds it, but it's behind the fence, kind of hiding right here, making it a huge pain in the ass to get, and it's usually the last one that people uh, can't find. Let's keep that drill going. Of course not. Alright, how much time do we got? How much time do you think? I'm thinking 107. 57. Well, I suck. Alright, now let's run back outside, and the alleyway. I told you I'd come back for you. Got it. Three left, okay. So now we'll check right next to the bank's front door. Sometimes they'll be up against the wall. Underneath the park bench right here, here's one. Fuck yeah. Wow, nice aim. So we'll check around the front here. And we'll check across the street, right where I killed that civvy. And hopefully, if I did everything correctly, the last one should be in the alleyway right here by the dumpster. Fuck yeah. Now, here's a neat little trick. If this does go loud, or if you don't want to have civvies and or guards see inside of what you're doing, you can always grab some planks of wood and board up the windows. Making it super easy. Now that the vault's open, oh, it's a decent shit. amount of money, we can saw open the door. You can place a drill, you can do C4, you can... Hey, can I get in there first? Now, it requires a keychain to unlock. One of the assets you could have bought would have been the keychain, which could have had, you know, one of those keys that you try potentially opens up the door. I never get it on the first try. Usually it takes about four or five for me, honestly. Or you can just bring a saw and do that. So as you can see, quite a bit of money here. One. Okay, I, I'm not entirely sure what happened there, but okay. Now let's see, two. Three. That's five, six, and seven. So let's pile these up by the door, and we'll take those in a minute. Because I got the, the worst goddamn escape. 
It would have been significantly better if we had gotten the one right out front, as it would have made this process a lot easier. So let's see. That's it for the money bags. Let's get started on sawing these open. The method I use, if you have the right skills, you basically all you have to do is tap it. Tap it and move to the right or left depending on how you want to do it. So, like that. And there you go. I was able to basically get almost one and a half of these open and not even having full ammo in it. Now, also, be careful of roaming civilians. Whoa, um, uh, on the ground. I'm not entirely sure what's happening. Oh, okay, well, that, that happened. And my guns are back. I have no idea what just happened to my weapons. Anywho, as you can see, there is loose loot in here. We'll pick it all up at once. Let's make sure to get this open first. So, always make sure that you're fully reloaded before you start drill sawing again, excuse me, as I find that when I'm reloading and I try to saw again, for whatever reason, it makes me aim down significantly more than I actually am aiming, and usually I miss, or hit the one underneath of what I'm trying to hit. Alright, so now we're out of ammo, but we have our friend photocopier here. There we go. If you're going to do the lower ones, make sure to crouch. The higher you go, of course, stand up. Yeah, see that? Didn't wait to finish reloading all the way. So we'll probably have to reload one last time, and then these will be open. And there we go. I don't believe I missed any. Let me double check. I'm good. Okay, so let's get started picking up this loose change. Necklaces, rings, money bundles, another ring, and sometimes gold bars. Now... Here's the method I use to make this go really quick. Most people tend to forget the things on the top row or don't check because it's kind of hard to see without jumping. So jump and crouch and slide to the left or right of where you're checking. So, and then pick it up and randomly just mash your pickup button as you do it. Make sure you don't miss anything and be quick. But as you can see, cleared it out pretty damn fast. It's my favorite method. Ah, now here we go. Sometimes, if you're lucky, you'll get money bags inside the deposit boxes. As you can see, there's two here, which isn't actually too bad. So let's do that method again. Ah, here we go. And if you're really lucky, you'll get gold. Hopefully you'll get a closer spawn, but, you know, gold move significantly slower with it. We'll throw all the money bags here. Go back to picking up the rest of the loot, which I think this is the last of it. We'll check. We're good. Now, you'll see things like medals, pictures, envelopes, and books. It has absolutely nothing to do with uh, what you're stealing, and you can't take any of it. So, don't even worry about it. So let's get started moving these bags. Now, usually, and it's a good practice to do, if you're going to take the loot, uh, I feel like okay, Bane, oh, now. cool, take it all if you can. Oh, okay, Bane, you feeling alright there, buddy? <clears throat> anyway, if you're going to take loot, here's a good suggestion for you. Separate your money and your gold. Put money on one side and gold another, or just sort of, you know, just have them separate in any way. It's 
a good practice to do, especially if you're playing with other players, because sometimes you'll have more of a speed boost than others. I mean, you don't want the slowest guy. I mean, I move faster, like 10% faster because of my skills. You don't want him to, uh, you know, the slowest guy with slightly heavy armor to be taking, like, an artifact from Shadow Raid or something heavy and make him move really slow. So, it's just common courtesy, I suppose. Of course, you'll have those people that pay no mind and aren't going to listen, obviously. But I've been, I've seen people kick uh, other players for, I guess, not separating that. So, it's just a good practice to do. And it also allows you to get the lighter loot first in case something goes wrong. It's better to have the objective complete than to, uh, you know, go out of your way and be slow and ruin everything for everybody and be a huge jerk so you know um i remember actually starting this mission out uh as well as election day those were my first two stealth missions i ever did and this one went a lot smoother than election day did i can remember my very first stealth mission when i first bought this game years ago uh i was learning the controls and i do play with a controller at the time, I didn't. At the time, I played with a uh, keyboard and mouse. I play with a controller now, I guess for better freedom of movement. And you can argue, hey, you can do the same thing on keyboard and mouse. I just, I, I don't know, man. I, I love my keyboard and mouse. I use it all the time. But this game just feels right with a controller. It's hard to explain. I don't know why. Um, but I was learning the controls on the keyboard when I first started my Election Day mission, where you have to tag the truck. And if you had watched that video previously, you'll know, hey, you know, that was really good. You you were really, you were really, you know, smooth in that video. And I'm okay at that mission, but when I first tried playing it, the guy was like, okay, I'm going to run in, and we're going to find the right truck. If you don't know what to do, just hang out. And I was like, okay, I'll just do that then. I have no, I literally no idea what I'm doing. I'll just sit right here. So the guy runs in, and he's taking about 15, 20 minutes to find the computer to find out, you know, which truck it is. And I'm standing there, and I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'll just take this time to figure out my controls. And, of course, at the time, I push the G button. And I throw a goddamn grenade 15 minutes into this heist and ruin the entire thing for everybody. And I apologize, but I still got kicked, of course, because, you know. That's just what happens. But, you know, that was my very first stealth mission. And I remember going like, wow, I really don't want to look like an ass like that again if I play online in this game. So, and let's do one quick sweep, make sure I got everything. Uh, I basically practiced offline for hours and hours and hours and hours. And I did every mission, election day, every mission repeatedly until I got the hang of it until I felt comfortable doing it online and it took it took a little while but I, I was probably ranked four or five before I even started uh, making my own public lobbies not see if I can do my little trick here I might not have the right skill throwing things slightly farther so let's put this up here and there we go we got it spinning pretty awesome so let's complete this. In the background, I can hear my phone going off. Hell yeah, you fuckers! That's how we. I'm on the line to my accountant. We need to uh, do some laundry. Nice work. So as you can see, it's not a bad payout. Comes out to be a decent amount, making things significantly easier. And like I said, the payout varies based on what exactly, uh, you know, what bank heist mission that you do. If it's cash, gold, deposits, etc. The experience is okay. You get a nice 10% stealth bonus, which, you know, helps quite a bit. Uh, let's see, any other noticeable things? Not really. Surviving crew one. Well, yeah. So... Yeah, that was basically it. Three points. Swish.
Well, that's basically it for bank job. Uh, I didn't want to do each video for each of the same heist. It wouldn't have made sense to do, and it would have been a huge waste of time for me and for you, to be honest with you, because it's uh, very slight variations. Now, the next mission I'm going to do, I believe, is Shadow Raid. I haven't done that one yet, and that one's going to be... That was going to be fun, because I love teaching new players how to do Shadow Raid. There's so many little tips and tricks you can do on that one. Uh, this one's very straightforward. There's there's not really an, uh, a whole lot of ways you can make like do your own thing. It's sort of very... It's it's very set for you. Like You get into the vault a very specific way, you get out a very specific way, and... Shadow Raid lets you kind of do your own thing, and, and there's many different ways to tackle it. It's a, it's a beast of a heist. So we'll get started on that one probably sometime in the next couple of days. Um, if you made it this far into the video, hey, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'll see you next time. <laughs>